Denmark's Prime Minister has appointed a new agriculture minister to succeed Mortens Jensen, who resigned after the government ordered the illegal culling of all minks in the country. The mass cull was ordered after a mutated form of coronavirus was found in Danish minks. That is potentially going to be passed on to people. Earlier this month, authorities said 11 people had caught the virus, but it's now believed to be contained. Well, Ireland's government has decided the recommendation to kill all of the monks that they've got in their country. We're going to cross over to Dublin now where we can speak to Ken Murray. Ken, considering the political fallout that we've had in Denmark over this issue, why is Ireland pushing ahead with this recommendation? Well, Oliver, it's highly unlikely there'll be any ministerial resignations here in Ireland. This seems to be purely a precautionary measure. As you said in your introduction, uh, 11 cases of a variant of COVID-19 was discovered in Denmark. And the big fear amongst uh, medical officers that work for governments right across Europe is that the vaccines that are expected to come into the marketplace after Christmas may not be adequate to deal with this mutated form. Uh, of the virus that's been prevalent in the mink population in Denmark. So the chief medical officer here, Tony Holohan, has advised the Department of Agriculture to basically uh, instruct mink farmers in this country to cull all mink. Now, there are something like three mink farms in the entire country. The numbers are quite small, but the fear is that all it takes is for one mink animal to pass this mutated version of the virus onto humans, and that in itself could then create another batch of problems uh, for the government here, which is hoping to come out of level five lockdown uh, in the next two weeks. So to answer your question, Oliver, it seems to be purely a precautionary measure. And um, what's the reaction been to this announcement? Yes, there's been uh, quite a strong reaction from uh, people in the mink farm industry. They feel that they're being penalised, even though there isn't one single shred of evidence that the mutated form of the virus is present in the mink population in this country. Now, they're going to lose their stock. The government has said here that they will compensate them, but they cannot replace their, if you like, killed mink. And that in itself means that people who've been mink farming for years... Uh, may have to go into another profession to make a living. One of the main opposition left-wing parties, uh, the Solidarity Party, has called this evening for all fur farm animals to be culled as well for fear that this mutated form of the virus may be present in that type of community. So mixed reaction uh, to the decision by the Irish government to cull all mink in Ireland, uh, and the chief medical officer is hopeful that this precautionary measure uh, that's been taken by the Irish government uh, will be effective.